Today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the all new FR Sky X9 Lite S. Now, this is the latest from FR Sky. It's just refreshes of their previous models, basically. We're going to take a look at what's new, if they have changed anything software related, which is where, in my opinion, it counts the most. And we're also going to discuss if D8 is compatible and also TBS Crossfire and everything else of that nature. So let's get started. So the X9 Lite asks, what is different? First, let's start with the cosmetics here. Now, other than the color, there is a couple differences here, which are the gimbals. These are proper Hall Effect gimbals. The Pro was saying they had Hall Effect, but it turns out that they don't have Hall Effect. So we do get Hall Effect gimbals here, which will last longer. I still personally prefer to fly the normal one, so I'm not going to be upgrading to this anytime soon. This is just my preference, and I've just gotten used to it, and I love it here. They've also done a couple more hardware modifications. Uh, for example, we have two extra new buttons right here. These are momentary switch buttons right here. So that's kind of nice, but um, everything else is basically identical again. Even the mountain in the front here is still plastic. It's not even metal. However, the only main upgrade in my opinion on this comes in the battery bay actually. It still does the same thing with two 18650s, and if you've seen my previous videos on the normal X9 Lite, we bought this extra board in order to have it start charging via the USB down here. It's a micro USB, sorry for the focus. And um, I had to run a wire to fit it right between both batteries. And I did a video on that. However, here, it actually pretty much comes ready. And, you know, it's not the most elegant finish, I would say, in my opinion. I probably expect a bit more. But you do have charging capabilities now. And it comes with this little magnetic uh, piece that should go right in the middle right here. So it holds on really nicely. And then it just, you know, that's it. You'll be able to charge. And they're doing the same method of charging that we saw with the mod that we had to purchase separately here. Now, putting the batteries in can be kind of annoying. What you have to do is push this one all the way there. And common sense will tell you to bring this one like this. But you're wrong because you also have another spring right there. Make sure you follow this correctly. And then you put it in like that. Close it kind of close it and then you're good to go now in terms of tbs crossfire and d8 in the d8 it's still not compatible but they do sell a separate module that allow you to run d8 now if you don't know what d8 is d8 is the thing that'll allow you to fly those tiny micro quadcopters even though recently they say they've gotten updates that runs d16 but, you know, some of the older things still run the D8 protocol. And um, this only runs D16 unless you purchase the module, which is the XJT module. However, why would you go purchase that when you can get this thing right here? So I'll have this one linked down below. This is what I use almost on a daily basis on my normal one. And what does this do? This will allow you to run D8, D16, Fly Sky Spectrum, the toys, those Chinese toys, anything. It's really, really useful. The range is really great. All my reviews uh, that, you know, all these little tiny micros that are using D8 are flown on this guy. And it is by far one of the best things you can purchase for your transmitter, especially if you're upgrading from FlySky, because now you'll still be able to use all of your FlySky receivers with your new FR Sky transmitter with this module. However, out of the box, they don't have that on there. But you can download the latest OpenTX firmware and flash it, and you'll have the multi protocol module enabled. Now, let's move on to the TBS Crossfire, which is the long range system here. Now, you can get it to work, and it does work. There's nothing to do, just flashing it also. So, once you get the multi protocol, you'll also be able to run the TBS Crossfire. And if you notice here, this is what I've done on my previous one. I bought these little adapters. Let me actually show you this in a little bit better detail. These adapters would go on the X light, not the X9 light, right here. And what I've done is I've taken the plastic cover that comes originally with the transmitter, which this one to be exact, and I made a little cutout and I just glued everything really nasty, but you know, the end result, it works beautifully. So you would just install this like that inside and just plug the cover back on. And now you have a full fledged module bay for whatever fat module you used to use. And um, that's how I was running TBS Crossfire on this. And it's 
it works great. Just get yourself, if you're going to be doing this, that's something also very important to take note of, get yourself some proper 18650 batteries because you need something that's proper because these soak up a lot of power, especially, uh, you know, the TBS Crossfire uh, modules that do long range and have high output power. They just soak up a lot of energy. So it's really good to invest in some good 18650s. They'll last you longer. They have bigger capacity and they can handle higher amp draw, which these need. So you don't get any fail safes or you possibly lose your model or quadcopter. So keep that in mind also. Now let's talk a little bit about FR Sky and Jumper. Now Jumper has been basically stealing the market share or mostly people, at least the people that are complaining in the comment section, they're really against FR Sky because of the D8 move because almost everything in the market was D8 and it, you know, it frustrates a lot of people, especially someone who finally had the cash to update or upgrade their transmitter and they finally figure out that guess what d8 doesn't work now the only great things that you the only great thing you get from this is basically the new inbuilt charging mechanism so you'll be able to charge those batteries inside via the micro usb on the bottom you do have all the options sd card expansion headphone area you do have a speaker and um you have everything you need except d8 this would have been the best budget transmitter on the planet because of its size its form factor the amount of switches it has and it is basically compatible with the tbs crossfire with no mods just some cosmetic mods basically uh the for example the qx7 needed a hardware mod in order to get this to work properly so it is a really great transmitter but again the main downfall is d8 fr sky please listen Please try to get the D8 back. You are losing a lot of people. And some of the moves you've done in the past doesn't go well with the community. So why keep losing people and not trying to make things better? And don't forget, it's the people that made FR Sky. Everybody used FR Sky. And a lot of people are starting to switch over to the jumper now. Even though they're harder to find because you basically scared them out of the market or some online shops. So let's put all this drama to the side and let's come back to the product as if that drama isn't there because that's what we're trying to do here. Now, the FR Sky X9 Lite transmitter, in my opinion, is one of the best budget transmitters. It's not, it's a premium transmitter with a really, really great price. I have the Horus X10, which is like a $500 radio. I have the QX7, the X9, but nothing, I, I, that's it. I just keep going to the cheapest one I have, which is this one. The form factor is great. You get full gimbals here, enough switches, and it works with just about everything if you add that multi-protocol module, which, and again, a lot of people don't like that. But again, if you're just upgrading, this is a really great transmitter, especially if you purchase the multi-protocol here, because you'll be able to still fly your FlySky Spectrum quadcopters with one transmitter, which again is really, really great and very useful. Even back then, whatever transmitter I personally had, which is my experience probably a bit different, I always had a multi-protocol transmitter on any transmitter I had because sometimes I'd get FlySky quadcopter, Spectrum, and I just use uh, one of these. Now nowadays, it's this one because obviously this is the one that fits here, which is a really, this is one of the cheapest, best in the price category, price point. It's really great. It is actually shielded, unlike the FR Sky version one. And I've done a teardown of this, which showed that it's a bit better, just due to one obvious reason, that it even had shielding on the RF uh, module part. So, I mean, that, you know, shielding is very important, especially on RF components. So, you know, it, and it never failed me in the bando and everything. So I'd highly recommend this one because I have three other ones, but for some reason, I just keep coming back to this one. It just works really great. Now, on the X9 Lite S, they're basically identical. Just saying again, just the gimbals the battery charging capabilities and the two extra momentary switches is the difference uh, and the color and to be honest if i were to pick a color uh because i can see these in, my, in front of me i'd rather get the blue one uh this one looks nice but it's it seems like it, it just get really dirty and it does seem plasticky this one does too but it just looks a little bit better in my opinion but again this is a personal preference type of thing it doesn't matter um, so if you want the Hall Effect gimbals, the charging capabilities, and the two extra momentary position switches, then go ahead and get the X9 Lite S. If you could care less about that, then get the normal one. I, there's no reason to get the Pro uh, because they're basically identical. I don't, I don't know what the hell is the difference. There's, there's nothing different. I don't know, maybe just the colors. Uh, even though they say the gimbals are different, but they, they're just basically identical. In my opinion, they seem basically identical. So... I just get the normal one. It's like $90. That is insane. $90. And well, that's it, guys. I'll have everything linked down below. 
and make sure you come join my patreon because i do give this stuff out away for free because uh i can't keep all this and um yeah it's better in someone's hand and i don't i don't want it to sit here and collect dust i just need one of every model and now i have these two models so i'll be giving out the good one away i also have a brand new qx7 uh so yeah come join my patreon new patreons for example i think i have just two or three this month whatever new patreon for the month gets a uh, they get their own special giveaway, premium giveaway. So if it's four this month, those four will have a special giveaway. And uh, yeah, and check the links down below. It's great to support the channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.